Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog. I know it has been a good while and I'm going to tell you some things that I've been up to but hello, it's so good to have you here again and if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me. So yes, I started this morning with a little matcha latte which was really good and I felt actually really like motivated to finally do some things again because as I have been mentioning a few times here and there like on my Instagram and also on my Patreon I think I have not been feeling really motivated so I thought that I would just do some things for my Etsy that that do not like require a lot of effort and don't really ask anything of my brain so I started this morning with stamping some stickers that I used to close my packaging with and I don't know I just had a really nice time I listened to an audiobook so I decided to actually start filming this day because it always makes me feel more productive because I'm recording myself I need to do things so yes as I said I started the morning with doing some things on my Etsy. I also packed some orders and I stamped these stickers. I also reprinted some thank you cards. So that was really nice. I have been wanting to do another shop update for absolutely ages now but as I did mention before I have been feeling not really motivated and I am definitely struggling with art block which I will talk about a bit more later in this video. Also, I don't think I even mentioned this, but I adopted another bunny. <laughs> As you may know, I owned one bunny already. I adopted him last June. His name is Alfie. You can see him in this video. He is so sweet. He is the sweetest little, not so little, he's quite big bunny boy. Like, I love him so much and animals in general just make me so happy. I just... Whenever I feel down or my brain is just annoying me, I just cuddle with him or Ellie and I feel okay again. Like the, oh, I just cannot explain it, but yeah, they make me so happy. And now on to Ellie, my queen Eleanor. <laughs> um, I adopted her from a shelter about two months ago now, I think. She is, I think they're called lion head in English. She's like really fluffy, even though I gave her a haircut. But she had really long hair when she came here. <laughs> she was rescued because she wasn't taken care of, along with, I think, almost 50 other bunnies, like the same breed as her. Because their fur is like really long and you have to brush it and take care of it, um, they are a lot of work and a breeder who was breeding them didn't do that. So they rescued her along with, as I said, almost 50 other bunnies and yeah, she was one of the few left in the shelter I got her from. I honestly don't get why because she is the sweetest little bunny ever. In my head, she is just... A queen like I can imagine her like in in bunny land being the queen <laughs> and just being really sassy but sweet at the same time and 
you know, with the little side bangs or curtain bangs and yeah, I just love her so much already, even though I've only had her for two months or so. And I've called her Eleanor, but we call her Ellie because Eleanor is quite a long name. So yeah, that's what we called her. Unfortunately, Ellie did get ill and it's a really long story, which I'm not going to tell you. But she needed quite a long treatment, which was all like really expensive. So I decided to do like a little Etsy sale and let me tell you, I don't think I've ever gotten this many orders and it was so overwhelming in the absolute best way possible because I got so many lovely messages uh, with the orders and they all said like, oh for Ellie and yeah, it was just, I don't know, I, I really don't have the words to describe how loved I felt and how supported as well because if it wasn't for all the orders then I definitely wouldn't be able to afford Elia treatment so again if you are one of those people then thank you so incredibly much because it truly does mean the world to me and yeah hopefully her treatment is over now but I have to go back in a few weeks and she might be getting like a little bit more medicine just to be sure that it will like stay away. So if you have been wanting to place an order for a while but you didn't then now would be a really good time. I don't know if that's like weird to say but yeah I am going to anyway. Um, but yeah enough about the bunnies. <laughs> kind of sorry for talking a lot about them but I just love them so much and having two little bunnies in my house just makes me just a really happy human so yeah yeah so currently I am really busy with making new products for a shop update and I didn't paint for a really long time because I was just not feeling it in the slightest but I think I'm finally getting back into it. I decided to just take a little bit of a break from painting and, and just focus on other things. I started a little vegetable garden in my house which was really nice and I also read a lot of books which also really have been helping me. So. Yeah, that was really nice and slowly but surely I felt like inspiration creeping back into my brain and yeah, as for right now, I feel really, really motivated and excited to paint and just make things. So yeah, that's what I've been doing and I will stop rambling for now and just show you the things that I've been up to painting wise. and. Thanks for the shop update. Okay, hello. So I just wanted to show you these two paintings. So this one is a painting that I did about two years ago, I think. And I did it when I was still at art school. And it's like a really quick painting. I don't know if you can tell, but the gouache I used kind of like cracked because I used it like really thick and I didn't really let it dry because it was a really quick painting so yeah I don't really like it I don't really like how I painted the leaves and stuff as well and just the composition of it all yeah I'm just not really feeling it um I mean I do like it from like afar but when I look at it longer than a few seconds then I don't really like it anymore so I decided to like repaint it and I just started this one as you can see I just started in like um, a watercolor base I think I'm going to continue with gouache because I'm not feeling this one either <laughs> um, I think it needs a bit of gouache so yeah that's what I've been doing I've been working on these two paintings I have to say that <laughs> I'm not really feeling this painting so what I think I'm going to do is just continue with other things I'm working on which I'm going to show you in a bit and I just leave this painting as it is for like now and I can always continue with it like 
later this month or in June or whatsoever like it doesn't really matter because I do have other things I can work on because yeah it is just kind of holding me back because this is kind of making me feel like I cannot paint and that's not the kind of feeling I want from this one so <laughs> yeah I also have been doing this painting which is a little daffodil um, it's like a really simple painting and I only kind of like how I painted the flower I mean it's it's kind of hard to show when it's on black paper it is a little bit more like saturated in real life but yeah anyway I think I'm going to scan this one in and just edit it on my iPad like with Procreate and just add some more details and stuff because it is a bit like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it just needs a little bit more details in the greens, I think. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on. Also, in my sketchbook, I have... Hold on. I did this little bee painting. And I almost finished it. <laughs> the only thing I have left to do is um, these little... I think they're called um, pollen baskets, which is where they keep the pollen in when they like collect them, which I think is so cute. I only have to finish them and then I think it's done. And I do really like this painting though, so yeah, this is giving me like good vibes, the kind of vibes I want. So yeah, as I said, I'm just going to leave like the tansy or whatever it's called painting and continue with things that I actually like. So, yeah, I think I'm going to turn these two into a print, like, definitely. Um, and just leave this one as it is for now. I also... Hold on. Um, I have this little lavender painting that I did quite a while ago. And I didn't really like it, but I did edit it on my iPad on Procreate. And I like it a lot better now. And I turned it into a little bookmark. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it has like a bluish background, which I really like. Like, I'm really liking this. So I guess I'm going to turn this one into a little bookmark. And also into a print. So those are some things that I've been working on. I think I already mentioned this in a video already, but I really haven't been into the best painting mood lately. So... It really does make me happy to be in a better painting mode so yeah what I'm going to do now is I am going to finish this one and then I can scan these two in and I can edit them so that's kind of my goal for today to just finish these two so yeah and I think I'm going to make like an A5 which is I think this is A5 um, print of this one because yeah I want to <laughs> I think it's kind of a shame if I would turn this into like an A6 print like postcard sized but um, hold on I also have this little B print like I guess you can see what I mean like it would be kind of a shame because it is horizontal but because my like bigger prints are a bit more expensive I think I'm going to turn it into like a postcard sized print as well as like an A5 size print so which size they want and yeah <laughs> so anyway that's all I wanted to say I am going to work on this one now and I am honestly really excited to finish this so yeah <laughs> thank you for listening to my rambling <laughs> I am going to paint now if I go going fast faster than I've ever gone before far that made me all so broke me in a million pieces mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no it'll be good this morning I 
I just gotta keep on going And I know it'll be alright I just gotta make up my mind About where I wanna be And learn how to feel free again Feel free again 